Any questions, comments from the audience? Yes, sir. Uh, earlier on, you, you talked about solar power, and uh, you talked to the mayor, suggesting this idea, which sounded like the way you put it, a no-brainer. What was his reaction? Why does he do it? Uh, he didn't know anything about it. Right. Um, <laughs> Uh, he said, oh, contact Sally Prentice from the Environment Cabinet Minister and make a, a business plan to her. I mean, I've been in contact with John Lissamore from the, the, the Housing Department in, in Lambeth, who is you know, genuinely one of the most greenest people in the council, and if there was any sense in the world, would be leader of the council. But you know, most councillors don't know about this. Most councillors are dealing with the mistakes of the welfare state. They're dealing with housing problems, debt problems, these sort of things. Um, it really needs us to push this sort of information to councillors to get in their face and say why is the council cutting back millions of pounds when it could be earning millions of pounds from these feed-in tariffs. Um, so yeah, fairly, uh, he didn't know anything about it, I said. Um, I mean, uh, as well as putting solar panels on your roof, um, there are many other things that, that's a good individual thing you can do. Obviously food growing is another very basic thing you can do. Supporting small scale producers of food and other products. Um, in Brixton we're very fortunate to have Transition Town Brixton, which uh, in the space of three or four years has now has a multitude of different groups, the food growing group, the energy group, the council group. You know, these are excellent, excellent groups to get involved with. Um, any other, uh, any other comments? Jokes, maybe? View of the glum proceedings? Uh, any other comments or questions? Yes. Uh, concerning solar panels, um, they're all very popular at the moment and stuff, but the crystals in those solar panels, where do they come from? And are they actually that ecologically sound? The crystals in most solar panels are silicon based. Um, although the new, there's a lot of new research into nano solar, um, which is essentially layers, very, very thin layers. Um, so it's more like the sort of consistency of aluminium foil. Um, there's a Californian company called Nano Solar who've just uh, set up also in Germany. They reckon that they can produce electricity from sunlight around about the price of a coal-fired power station. Okay, that hasn't been independently validated yet, but it does look like using nano-solar technology, which is a lot easier to produce than the energy-intensive solar panels. Um, you know, it basically just comes out in a huge, huge sheets of it. And so if you plaster your roof or a building with that sort of thing, now, that could also be producing energy. Um, but, uh, yeah, I mean, it is a key thing. A, a lot of renewable energy production does require a high energy input. And, um, you know, one of the things we need to be very careful about is energy return on energy input, or ROI as it's also known, the sort of net input. If you think when oil was first being produced, you just put a hole in the ground, you put the equivalent of one barrel of energy in and you got a hundred barrels of energy out. So it was a hundred to one net return. Now it's getting harder to find, it's about 30 to one, 20 to one. With the tar sands in Canada, you put in one barrel of energy and you get out two or three barrels of energy. Okay, so for all that decimation of the environment, all that damaging the water courses, you're really only getting out about twice or three times the energy you put in. And then when you add in the environmental effects of that, you know, we would argue it is simply not worth it. We need to look for other lower tech ways, less energy intensive ways of saving energy. So for example, there's no point putting solar panels on your house if you're drafty. 
You know, again, it's a no-brainer. Sort out the easy things, the low-hanging fruits first that don't require huge energy inputs. Um, and uh, you know, be careful of solutions that require huge energy inputs. Um, I think my time is nearly up. Uh, any last questions or comments? Yeah, I've got a comment. Wouldn't it be great? Wouldn't it be great as part of our whole recycling system? Do and do something like that? Wouldn't it be great? Yeah. 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 Yeah.